back on welcome back to C++ tutorials on June 12th. This session is on tokens in C++. A token is the smallest element of a program that is meaningful to the compiler. Tokens can be classified as follows. Identifiers, constants, special symbols, strings, operators, and keywords. In this session, we will see about keywords, identifiers, and constants. Remaining tokens will be discussed in the coming sessions. Let's start with keywords. Keywords are predefined or reserved words in the programming language. Each keyword is meant to perform a specific task in a program. Since keywords are referred names for a compiler, they can't be used as variable names because by doing so, we are trying to assign a new meaning to the keyword which is not allowed. That is, you cannot redefine keywords. Listed are a few keywords that we use in our language. There are many more. We will make use of those in building our program. So, if you pick out a keyword, say in, it has got a predefined meaning. It's used to represent an integer entity. I cannot reuse the same as a variable name or function name in my program. Identifiers are used as the general terminology for naming of variables, functions, and arrays. These are user-defined names. There are certain rules that should be followed while naming the identifiers. It should be up to 31 characters long as only first 31 characters are significant. They must consist of only letters, digits, or underscores. No other special characters are allowed. They must begin with a letter or underscore. It must not contain white space. Let's see some examples. Underscore S10 is a valid identifier. It stick on to the rules. It is starting with an underscore which is permitted and you can see a combination of letter and digits. So this is a valid identifier. Tune.pulper is not a valid identifier because it contains special character other than underscore which is not permitted. In again is an invalid identifier because we have seen in the previous slide in is a keyword. You cannot reuse a keyword as an identifier because it is reserved. It has got a predefined meaning. Constants are also like normal variables, but only difference is your values cannot be modified by the program once they are defined. Constants refer to fixed values. They are also called as Literals. There are various types of constants. Integer constants. The integer entities like 0, 11, etc. is referring to integer constants. Character constants. The letters that is enclosed within single quotes are referring to character constants. String constants. When you have group of letters, that is enclosed within double quotes, they are referred to as the string constants. Floating point constants, the floating values of the data with decimal values are referred to as floating point constants like 10.23, 123.45, etc. are referring to floating point constants. Octal and hexadecimal constants. Constants may belong to any of the data types. So what are data types? 
data types will be discussed in next session. So keep watching C++ tutorials on Tube Conference. Please like, share and subscribe.